It's an amazing autumn morning in Greece. At this right moment, a young two banded sea bream appears from the rocks. He is ready to face the daily challenges marine life presents. This little fellow is 8 cm long, not too far from his adulthood. As soon as he is finally able to reproduce, he will be mature, with a length of about 15 cm. Secretly, he hopes to grow up as one of the biggest two banded seabreams that can reach a body length of approximately 40 cm. Like his congeners, he lives throughout the Mediterranean Sea, the Black Sea, and the Eastern Atlantic Ocean. He has a silvery oval body with seven nine golden longitudinal lines that you can see only with light. He also has two vertical black bands, one close to the caudal fin and the other one in the fore part, just behind the gills. This coloration helps him in deceiving predators. Sometimes he stays on his own. He can be very curious yet scared at the same time when he sees something new. He swims in circle around the object of his curiosity very rapidly. He often prefers to join other individuals. Usually they form small groups of less than 10 individuals. Each member of the school has the same length. When becoming an adult, he could join bigger schools in deeper waters, up to 130 meters deep. Two banded sea brims can be frequently found on the sea bottom, swimming on rocky areas or sandy substratum close to Posidonia meadows. And in these areas they reunite in search of food. They are opportunistic predators, feeding on whatever is passing close to their mouth. They especially appreciate arthuroids, small crustaceans and copepods. Their oval body helps them make very precise maneuvers. During the feeding time, they also enjoy the presence of other species, like the striped red mullet. This fish is specialized in feeding on small animals hidden in the sand. Through the barbers in proximity of its mouth, containing sensory cells for chemical signals, the striped red mullet is able to detect the presence of its prey located under the substratum and then it digs to drive them out, putting some organisms in suspension in the water. The two-banded seabream doesn't miss this chance of an easy meal and flanks the striped red mullet during the operation.
Very often, it goes as far as stealing food from other fish, effectively preventing them from feeding together. However, to be a predator doesn't mean that you're not a prey in turn. In fact, during daylight, our young sea bream has to survive threats bigger than him. The Mediterranean moray and the common dentex are some examples of unpleasant encounters he can face. But his biggest predator is just hidden behind this Posidonia meadow. The human being. This terrestrial species, with its well-developed brain, manages to catch sea breams, even though it is clearly not as suited to life underwater. In Mediterranean countries, this fish is widely consumed for its nutritious meat. Traps Nets Spears are some tools used by humans to hunt them, making their life really hard. Finally, the day is over. When the sun goes down, it's time for our friend to go to sleep. But is he really out of danger? Of course not. Many other predators are ready to ambush in the dark. How can a small sebrim rest without risking being eaten? Obviously, sleeping with his eyes open. He is still able to move because only a part of his brain is asleep. During the night, when dangers are behind every corner, the Sibrim shows all his arsenal of defense strategies. The most common is to raise his dorsal fin. As in the case of the damselfish and many other fishes, it allows him to look bigger and, consequently, more intimidating. A very effective strategy is to simulate death, thus ensuring the predator loses any interest in his capture. As a last resort, he can flee out of view of the predator. This night, an octopus is hunting close to our young two-bandit Sibrim, gliding on the rocks. It is looking for crustaceans hidden into the cavities. But fishes are absolutely on the menu as well. And the Sibrim of this size is a very easy meal. Luckily, tonight, the octopus is more interested in crustaceans and our Sibrim can finally have his well-deserved rest. The sun is rising. The dangers of the night are gone. And this little two-bandit Sibrim is ready to greet a new day. Challenging, yes, but definitely fascinating. <laughs>